Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm going to try this yet again. I've been trying this video like four times and it's been nothing but a catastrophe each time. Uh, as you can tell, I've got my street luminary car on the bench. I was trying to make some aero packages for it. So far, it's running decent. I've got more power to get out of it, but it's running pretty good. Uh, um, I ran a practice race. Well, we just went, well, a practice session, as to say. We sit there and we, I worked real hard and had a lot of help getting it up to speed. And then went to bracket racing um, last weekend and I kind of turned it down a little bit because I needed to be consistent instead of just trying to go for the fastest I could and it was dead on 270 2.71 2.70 I even dialed in a little high on my second one because I figured it was you know, the first time it got uh, ran that lane it got squirrely well this time it didn't so I broke out all right so let's get this out of the way uh oh hopefully that didn't hopefully that didn't break over That's good. All right, so I've been working on my 13.5 car. This associated kit. Uh, I was going to do a build video on it, but I ran into some issues. My SIM card got full. Uh, when I went to download it, couldn't find out the one terabyte hard drive I was using to store my videos and stuff on was full. So I had to remedy both of those issues. And I tried to use my other SIM card and I had like three, three episodes in on the build and it got corrupted. And the only way to fix it was to reformat it and lose everything on it. So, like I say, is you're not getting to build video. Sorry. One second. All right, so here we go. My back. Unfortunately, I was hoping to do this without having to do a bunch of editing, but eh, my dogs decided I'm gonna have to edit some of the space out. So anyway, this is my 13.5 car. It's an associated um, kit. I do have the electronics mount for from Roy Offenbacher and an extended body uh, body post mount. <coughs> <coughs> and I got these side dams that go, but these aren't from uh, Roy. They're from a from another individual. I have to look up his name now put it down in the bottom um, this is gonna be my 13.5 car so you know I don't need anything too dramatic I do got a few things coming in the mail and that's one of the things we're doing today is opening some mail uh, I'm hoping to get this done fairly soon I gotta build the shocks and put some electronics in it Then we'll be this will be ready to go. And speaking of getting it ready to go, I got a few mail items today. Well, yesterday before work, 
I am kind of tired this morning. I've been up since mm, like two o'clock yesterday. And it is nine o'clock the following morning. I had to work last night. I figured I would do this because I've got to get videos back rolling. I'm letting my, what few fans I have down. So this is from A Main. This should be the front tires for my, my new front tires. Right. New who's your fronts? I've got some port on reactions back there. I got something special coming for those. Let's see what else we got. This is from RPP. This should be some spur gears. No, not spur. A spur gear and some pinions. And this right here. Performance analyzer, GNSS performance analyzer. I know they're not quite as accurate as the time and lights and systems, but as long as you, it gives you consistent numbers, you can tell if it's getting better or worse, and that's the biggest thing. Let's see what else we got in here. All right, so here's the spur gear that I probably won't be able to use. Then I've got a few pinions in here, 48 pitch, so I can see which one works best. This one is a 20. And this one is a 22. And this one is a 21. That should be getting me ready for some adjustments. All right, now, last but not least, is this little box. Let's see it. All right. Can you see? You can't see me over the box, can you? No, you can't. All right, let's see. How's that? That better? Okay, that looks good. All right, so this is from Beef Tubes. In this. <laughs> it's in a DR10 box. That's not what's in it. I can see it. It is. Really tight in this box. <laughs> All right. Man, you yeah, really put some tape on it. One of my Christmas presents I would wrap for the kids.
Anyway, I guess you can see what it is now. It's actually a axial rift. So, I got this from him. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with it. I think I'm going to leave it stuck and run it and see what breaks. And then go from there. I've had a few different ideas about what to do. I hadn't seen one in person, so. I am kind of interested in seeing it. I've heard, but I've, I've, I've heard about the whole, you know, breaking axles and breaking axles. And, and it very well could happen. So I'll catch it on video. Oh, we got, a, got the controller. Pack it in the foam. Anything special about the foam or is it just foam to pack it? So they are using spectrum radios. disc and uh, I don't know what to, I can use these for something. Let's see. There's the owner's manual. Who reads the manual? <laughs> eh. I'll keep it in a drawer and just in case I do need it. each other all right so this is fairly large the tires are soft I've heard they're pretty good for it especially for ready runs let's see what do I got idea of something to do but first I gotta find them stay right there I will be right back all right so I got some AR60s laying around there fairly loaded and I was wondering if I could use them on this and the short answer is Possibly. Let's see. They're a little, a bit just a little narrower, not a whole lot. And I wouldn't worry about it being, oh, it wouldn't hurt my feelings to have it a little narrower. But I could put a A smaller tire on it. I don't need a huge tire. But 
It's a good looking rig. Well, this fell down. Order a bit of on or something. I guess the question is, do I use this opportunity to switch over to Spectrum batteries in the charger, or do I change this over to a XT60? may end up being my rig that I take and make up for out walking and stuff. I should really start walking more. How many of y'all take those rigs for a walk? <laughs> it is big. It's very big. Now, Dan, that beef tube said that he, the only thing him and his son has had happen is they broke the rod in. So, we'll see. We'll. Um, Turn it, see what happens. I watched a few videos from different YouTubers that's been playing with them, and I do like the idea of it. I don't know if it's, I don't know, it's just big tires. I might try to lower it down a little bit and you get it down here. But other than that, that's what we got, man. I got a few I got some driving videos from the of the class one blazer. Uh, a few little drag passes. Um I'm looking to go drag racing this weekend. They're having to practice down in South Carolina. So I will hopefully take my truck and my car down there and have it ready to run. Get some, I'm gonna build a, uh, some wings for it. And other than that, this is where we're at. I appreciate y'all coming by to see my videos. I hope you enjoy what I do. I really try not to put out junk. <laughs> I mean, I if I think a video is junk, I usually scrap it and start over. This video is taking me like four different takes to get because, you know, one problem after another. And then I finally got it and I didn't like how it looked. So here I am again. But I'll get you some more video of drag racing this coming weekend. Try to put out another video next week. And until then. Have fun doing what you're doing, and remember, it's a hobby. Stay safe. Bye.
I'm just saying this. Right. I feel pretty good about that. Red plane.